Do you ever do that? You open the washing machine and someone has left a tissue in their pocket. Now the whole family has to walk around for a week like they just stepped out of a fucking snow globe. <laughs> and walking in the air. <laughs> now if I go anywhere near our washing machine with a pair of trousers, my wife turns into a copper. She does a stop and search on me. <laughs> Have you got anything in your pockets I should know about? Not as far as I know. What's that tissue then? <laughs> you planted that. <laughs> Have you ever watched your clothes in your washing machine? Because they start the cycle a little bit suspicious, don't they? <laughs> you know, they don't know what the fuck's going to happen to them, you know? Then after a while, you can look in there, they're all having a bit of a laugh, they're jumping about, they've got that detergent board, they're having a bit of a game. <laughs> But then there's your spin cycle, where your washing machine goes fucking nuts. Because your washing machine's like a schizophrenic. Oh, yeah, there's a pause before it happens. It just sits there like that. You can see all the clothes looking at each other like, what's fucking, what's happening, what's happening? <laughs> and then suddenly your washing machine goes, BUSTED! <laughs> see all your clothes in there, pinned up against that drum inside? Ah! Ah! That's why halfway through you've got to open that drawer and put that fabric softener in there. That's why they call it comfort. That's to calm it down. Calm down. <laughs> then at the end you take all your clothes out. There's always that traumatised sock stuck to the top of the drum inside, isn't there? <laughs> My wife's always complaining. There's a sock missing. There's a fucking sock missing. Yeah, it's inside the machine, stuck to the top of the drum like... Pay! Pay! I've lost my brother. <laughs> you know, my wife is constantly war with clothes. I don't get women's clothes. You know, you all see those models on the catwalks modelling women's clothes going like that. <laughs> Why do they model women's clothes like that? You don't wear them like that. You'd look fucking mental if you walked into the pub on a Friday doing that shit. <gasps> Half a log of shandy, please, Ken. <laughs> I don't... I don't get women's clothes. All my, most of my wife's dresses zip up at the back. Whose fucking idea was that? <laughs> Have you ever seen your wife come in on a Friday a little bit pissed, trying to undo that zip? She's standing in the middle of the bedroom, right? She'll have herself in a fucking half a Nelson. <laughs> I got this. Hold on! After a while, she gets really angry. She looks like a psychiatric patient trying to get out of a fucking straitjacket. <laughs> get me out of this fucking dress! <laughs> no! <laughs> Constantly at war with her clothes. The other day, I was watching my wife getting dressed. No word of a lie, right? She put a bra on backwards <laughs> and then fucking spun it round. She looked like she just passed her HGV. <laughs> you know, she's backing up in the bedroom. Warning, wife reversing. <laughs> Warning, wife reversing. The fuck is that? I don't put my pants on backwards and then spin round really good. <laughs> She's always adjusting her bra, my missus, putting everything in place, you know? Fracking, I call it fracking. <laughs> Blokes are the same, they're all shifting it, moving it. You all right, boys? Yeah. <laughs> you ever done that? You'd be walking down the high street on a Saturday through Birmingham, suddenly get a pube caught in your pants. Fucking hell. <laughs> you don't want to attract the attention, so you start doing all that shit, you know? <laughs> That ballet was invented. <laughs> you know, years ago, some bloke was walking down the street doing all that shit, you know? Somebody went, well, what is that? I call it the Nutcracker Suite. <laughs> it's when we're going out, that's when my wife does mad stuff. We was going out the other day, she's got a shower cap on her head, which I don't get. Why would you want to wash your hair at a different time to the rest of your body? It's like your hair is out of sync with the rest of your body. What happens when you want to wash just your hair? Do you have a fucking bag that comes up to here? <laughs> I don't fancy washing me face today. Where's me ski mask? <laughs>
See, I don't like it when my wife gets in her bathroom. Do you know what she's done now? She's put that hand cream in there. She says, Lee, use the hand cream after you wash your hands. Fucking never again. You can't get back out. You've got no grip. <laughs> Ow! I'm stuck in the bog. completely paralysed just by getting ready to go out. Normally, it's just after she's painted her toenails. I'll ask her to do something, she'll stand up and she'll go, Lee, I can't move! I've just painted my toenails! And I look down and she's wearing what can only be described as a fucking sponge knuckle duster. <laughs> what the fuck is it? It's like she's got each toe in stocks. <laughs> yeah, they're all drugged out their head on varnish. Help her! <laughs> she's drugged her! <laughs> See, I know these things. I know these things, because I've been married for uh, this year, 30 years. Uh, 30 years this year. Yeah. <laughs> We've been married for so long, things are changing. I don't like shopping with my wife. She's changed. She scares me. My wife is normally a law-abiding person. That is until we get in the shopping centre. We'll be standing in the food court holding a couple of trays of our dinner on after just paying for it, and she'll turn to me and she'll go, she hasn't charged us for the teas. <laughs> you want to laugh? She hasn't charged us for the teas. <laughs> well, that's all right. I just... That, don't you fucking dare. <laughs> Never on the run. I'm shitting myself. I'm like fucking Bonnie and Clyde. I'm eating me dinner like a fugitive. Are they coming? Are we in trouble? Are we fucked? My wife's all calm and calculated. Easy, easy. <laughs> I'm shitting me pants. I can't stand this. A life on the run. I can't stand it anymore. She's got me by the cheeks. Oi. You drunk the tea, you slag. <laughs> You're in. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know my wife was such a criminal. Have you ever stayed in a hotel with your wife? Fucking hell, she becomes like a burglar overnight. <laughs> she turns into one of those bank robbers you see in the films. We'd be leaving the room and suddenly she starts scooping all the toiletries into a fucking handbag. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> I'm standing there, what are you doing? We're here for another fucking two weeks. <laughs> what is she gonna do with all these miniature bottles of shit anyway? <laughs> She'd be up the pub the next day. <laughs> do you wanna buy a shower cap? you want to buy a feminine hygiene bag? <laughs> Ugh, how many you got? One. <laughs> you know, I'm pretty much the idiot in our house. I swear, I am. I, you know, I watched that film the other day, 12 Years a Slave. That's based on my marriage, that is. <laughs> yeah, because I've got two jobs. This one, if you can call it a job, and whatever shit job she's fought up for me when I get indoors. <laughs> I'm not I'm serious. As soon as I walk through our front door, she'll be standing there with a plunger going, Bog, needs unblocking now. It doesn't matter who you are, you could be Alan Sugar, one of those tycoons off the Dragon's Den. As soon as you step through your front door, you turn it to fucking Igor. <laughs> Hello, darling, I'm home. Rubbish needs taken out now. Oh, immediately, oh, master. <laughs> she runs the worst job centre in the world. It's all menial work she gets me to do. It's like... Pray, anything good for me today, oh master? Yes, this one involves travel. Oh, zippity doo da. <laughs> get me some lilettes. <laughs> and you can get those on the way back from the chippy. Now go! Booty, booty. Ah, ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> Living the dream. To be fair to my wife, it's not all mean your work she gets me to do. Sometimes she'd be on her way out the door and she'd go, Illy, any idea what the roads are like? I'm like, yeah, just a minute, I'll just nip up to the fly in the sky. <laughs> well, there's a five mile tailback on the B402 after a frozen food lorry, jackknife at Junction 9. This is Lee Evans with the traffic and travel brought to you by How the Fuck Should I Know? <laughs> oh, I, I had a 
never found it. And I can't remember anything anymore. And it's losing me all the battles in our house. My wife can even tell me my own memory just by saying, I did tell you, Lee. And I just believe her, because I can't fucking remember. <laughs> she say to me, you don't even remember what you forgot, do you? <laughs> the fuck did you just say then? She's like, oh, forget it. I just did, don't you remember? I can't remember anything. I have to turn to my wife for everything these days. We'd be in the supermarket, right? And the woman behind the counter would go, do you have a loyalty card? I look straight to my wife, go, do you have a loyalty card? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Somebody will say to me, Lee, can you answer anything by yourself? I look straight to my wife, can I answer anything by myself? <laughs> no, no. I'm one of them blokes that stand in a record shop humming the chorus to the bloke behind the counter because I can't fucking remember the song. Yeah, it's, like, it's sort of like boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, chicka. <laughs> it's a shame you can't do that with anything else. You know, you're ordering a curry. Yeah, I had a little while ago. It sort of sounded like a. <laughs> You know, me and my wife, we applied for one of those gay marriages because gay people seem to be a lot happier. I thought, fucking, I'll have some of that. <laughs> no, 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 the gay community, they have a march when the Pet Shop Boys release a new album. Then they have another parade when they don't release an album. They celebrate their sexuality marching through the streets. I am what I am. <laughs> you never see married couples doing anything like that, blowing whistles and waving flags, do you? They all seem to be fucked off of everything. On a gay march, they're all flouncing around, you know, go west. <laughs> On a married march, it'd be just like men and women walking down the street going, de, 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 de. <laughs> de, 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 de. All these people that have gay marriages, it's all great when you first meet somebody, but let's see if you can last 30 years, mate, because things start to change. Like, we've been married for so long, things are changing. She's getting more butch and I'm getting more feminine. I swear, you know, the lights will suddenly go out in our house. So I go, clink, I go, what the fuck's happening? <laughs> My wife will go, ah, calm down, you tart. I'll get a fucking torch. Anyway, I can't see my wife on a parade. After two minutes, she'll be hanging on to me, going, oh, Lee, I'm not walking another fucking step. <laughs> These fucking shoes. Because <laughs> she does that. My wife would buy some shoes, but not normal ones you wear on your feet. Oh, no, 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 no. That's too fucking easy. <laughs> no, because the ones she buys, no, 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 they're special, much more trendy. Because the ones she buys, you don't wear on your feet. You take off halfway through the night and end up holding your hand. Do you know them fuckers? <laughs> If we're going out for the night, right, we'll leave our house and she'll have her shoes on her feet where they're fucking meant to be. She'll go out, like, oh, I love these fucking shoes. I love these shoes. <laughs> fucking love these shoes, Lee. As the night progresses, you'll see her go like, oh, I love these fucking shoes. All these fucking shoes. <laughs> I love these fucking shoes. No! I'm looking at her feet going, oh, trendy, blisters. <laughs> Her, she just took them shoes off because whenever she keeps them on all night something really weird happens Has your wife ever done that? She's had those shoes on all night. We get indoors, right? She'd disappear off into the bedroom to take those shoes off and suddenly you can hear all these sounds of ecstasy coming out the bedroom All you can hear is this oh, 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 oh that feels so good Oh, yeah, just there standing in there all way. Who the fuck <laughs> is in that room with my wife? <laughs> and here's the freaky bit. When she reappears out of that bedroom, it's a completely different woman. Why is it with women when they get in from a night out? That really glamorous person I was with seconds ago <laughs> is now wearing an old baggy tracksuit <laughs> that makes her look like she shit herself. <laughs> A pair of old slippers, a house coat, no fucking makeup. She walk out of that bedroom going like, ah, uh, uh, that was a fucking top night, Lily. Uh, go on, you've got to admit it, that was a fucking top night. I'm standing there. Who? I feel fuck. Are you? 